Yona Arc on ASA is releasing tomorrow, Friday, with the big CA prize and a bunch of other things that's happening this wipe. With Scorch Treasures releasing on ASA, we decided to wipe our ASA servers and we decided to bring them back. So we're going to have Island and Scorched Earth. It's going to be an amazing time. We're going to have custom drops and everything that you guys will love and enjoy. It's going to be a 15x four-man tribes. So get your friends together and see if you guys got what it takes to get that CA prize. I look forward to playing. It'll be linked below, and I hope to see everybody there. Welcome to the channel. So you're going to gaming, you're back with yet another video. So in today's video, I'm bringing you guys the top 10 PvP base locations, in my opinion. The first two are going to be kind of on the open. Then we're going to do a few rat holes. Then I rank the five caves. So hopefully you guys are excited. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Let me know you guys thoughts on asa for scorched earth at the moment but that being said the first two spots are kind of the typical ones um there weren't supposed to be cryopods i feel like for a while they should have kept cryopods out but with them not being able to throw cryopods and stuff out without a cryo fridge like nearby uh this pillar pillar over here at roughly 47 62 is a pretty good starter location there is resources all around you have crystal obsidian it's pretty flat up here that's why i chose this one you could build on pretty much any of these are flat if you wanted to you could even build your main base up here and just farm these ones you have metal and stuff all around the edges as well the only problem is you are out in the open and that's always a bad thing in arc but to start off and get a few first few heavies up here it is a pretty good starter location and i would say it's one of the better locations let's move on to spot number nine Spot number nine is going to be kind of the same thing. It's going to be a little closer over here to Green Knob. And you can kind of do that pillar over here or this one. They're kind of, I feel like, really similar. But yet again, bunch of resources. You're near the desert. You're near Anopolis and all of that. And it's very flat up on this one. It's pretty big too. So you can put like a good 3x3 three three or 2x2. Two two. Have turrets hanging off the edges because you can place turrets around the sides. But um, the chords for this one is at 36.2 and 70.2 right here on the map. So come over here, get your starter location built, and get that going. Now we're going to move into the goods, the rat holes, and the caves. Spot number 8, the rat hole is going to be over here at roughly 50.9 and 48.1. This one is very broken because I'm pretty sure once you're inside or like to get in, you technically need to crouch and grapple or drop down. You might be able to drop down in there, but um, I know to get out, you definitely need to crouch and then grapple out. So it's a pretty nice little um, starter spot. You kind of come through here or like I said, fall down in and it opens up to a decent sized rat hole. I don't think you might. No, I don't think you'll be able to get an industrial forge or anything in here. You better get forges and stuff. It's a really nice starter rat hole and it's one of the better ones just because how hard it's going to be able to get like anything in here to actually raid it. And you can get a bunch of turrets placed along here. I'm pretty sure this will be far enough back where splash damage will be a problem. You can get a little crafting station. So definitely for a solo duo tribe, this is going to be your go-to spot. Here it is again on the map at 5047. And yeah, it's, it's not it's not bad. You'll see the bridge. You just kind of look over into that corner. You'll follow it straight over. And you go in here. I do like, like the new textures if it storms or rains or anything. Everything kind of looks wet in a way. But um, let's move on to spot number seven. So spot number seven is coming in at roughly 35.9 and 74.1. You guys may be wondering why is this not the number one rat hole. The reason I did not put this in the number one rat hole is because this one is definitely probably going to get patched. And the entrance is a little, little bigger. It's still like one of the most broken rat holes. I probably would put this as the best rat hole right now on Scorched Earth. But yet again, um it's how do i put this it's it's probably gonna get patched so you come over here you will see this corner it's pretty noticeable you see this like this but the reason it is nice is it is a pretty small entrance it's not a crouch or anything but it's it's pretty small and the reason it's so high up is because look at the space you have you can get like a whole death wall in here and like there is so much room this is one of the rat holes that you could probably get a giga out you could get rexes out you could put replicator you could put your industrial forges like everything will fit there is so much space in here and no it doesn't like mesh into like um the map or anything but like you can see these textures don't look like you know like a mountain you know stuff like this normally gets patched if you look at old maps so hopefully it doesn't because this is actually an insane rat hole, especially you can get a whole like six man in here and you can get a whole base set up. You can have a breeding area. You can layer this out if you wanted to have some like smaller trikes and carbos down, put another layer, get crafting station. So yeah, this rat hole, in my opinion, is pretty darn insane. 
So this is definitely one I would say build wisely, probably claim it now. If you're playing on a server for a few weeks to a month, claim it and then I wouldn't claim it after that because they're probably going to end up patching it very soon. But um, yeah, pretty broken spot. Let's move on to the best rat hole because I think it's still going to be here. The best rat hole that's going to probably not be patched. At least I hope they don't patch this one. It doesn't look as bad as the other one. It's coming in over here near Blue Ob at 17.4 and 30.8. So I know it's stormy, but there's Blue Ob right there. You come up to this cliff. You just kind of follow it up. And on your way up, you'll see like this little, this little entrance right here. You'll come in here. And there is like a small rat hole right there. But this is the way you want to go. You want to go to the right. And I'm pretty sure if I remember right here, yeah, you have to crouch. Oh, I guess you don't. Interesting. I thought you had to crouch. So if you fall over here, you don't. But either way. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's like you get stuck. So it kind of in a way is a crouch. You do get stuck at times. But um, if you put some bear traps, some fence supports, things like that down. I, they might be able to fit a carbo in here, but no other teams are going to be able to fit. You come back in here, and you just have so much space. You can put a bunch of turrets and everything. You can either go to the right, which opens up to a pretty big area right here. And I have tested it. You can get an industrial forge. If you layer this out right, an industrial forge will fit perfectly right here. It's the only spot that I could get one to fit at the time. We might be able to get one to fit up here as well, because you also have this entrance right here which opens up into this massive space um i would say put your like crafting station up here it's a little awkward but for this out put a crafting station all that up here with that being said though another good thing is you can have your own little farm in here um i don't know how like the sun and everything works with the crops and stuff like that on asa if you still need tech crops if you're in like a cave or a tech crop plot but um there is on this side it's kind of weird but it's a water biome so you could even throw out water things in here it sounds wild but yeah like half this is water so you have your own little water biome so about from here over is all water which even makes it even better in my opinion because you can have water stuff over there you can have like pipes running out you can set up beer barrels anything that you guys want to so that's why this is like the number one rat hole in my opinion because it's going to be here the longest and i think it has a lot of potential going back and editing this i realized that spot number it was like seven or eight was actually supposed to be swapped that smallest rat hole was supposed to be swapped with this rat hole so i'm gonna go ahead and throw it in kind of in the middle um this is just another really broken one i'd put this as like top two three rat holes for asa so I did show this in my rat hole video already. So if you guys want to go watch that, but it is going to be over here at 24.3 and 25.8. So you come in this little canyon right here and up in this corner, you have this extremely broken rat hole. Uh, you land, I'm going to show you the proper way. You got to gra grapple and then you got to like crouch. And then there's a certain spot that you can grapple. So you can get in here without ghosting um, and it does open up to a massive spot. So this could be, you know, top one, top two rat holes. It's all based on your opinion, but I like the other one because it has the water area and I think it does have more space um, because of the water dinos you can put in there. This one like has more, I guess, land area mass to build in, but it's also a little more weird because it's. I don't know it's like a straight drop down you got to figure out how to build this properly but this is still broken in my opinion because of how small this is it also looks a little weird in here but um yeah it's a it's, it's still a pretty nice right hole i'd put this at like top three for sure now let's actually start moving on to the cave starting at number five the fifth cave on my list is going to be the new kind of like cave for um in the wyvern den over here at 59.1 16.6 you'll come down be this pretty small entrance i say kind of small because it's not that small and that's why it's number five there's not too many choke points that are very good because you know stegos and all of that um heck you can even walk paracers through most of this and that's why it's going to be the number one five spot i'm just going to kind of run through them really quickly if you guys want to see the entire caves you can come explore them for yourselves 
but it is just a massive cave like it does have a lot of potential and it could be fun especially on a boosted server but if you're playing like small tribes or official i would not advise claiming this cave just because the entrances are so massive but yeah that's what that's why it's at number five let's move on to number four so number number four three and two i keep having like to change them around but i think i finally have this set i think at number four i'm going to put blue op cave so if you come over here at roughly 28 29 um you'll see this tree this rock you go behind them and there will be blue op cave and the only reason i was like doubting this one and a couple of the other caves is because they all have their downfalls in their own little way but i feel like the choke point is not as good in blue op cave i guess you can get a decent you know wall or like turrets there you come down through here and i would say this is one of your main areas where you're gonna have like a main wall if you can get a main wall out here somehow get it built properly the cave definitely has a lot of potential and that's why it's going to be um over the wyvern cave is because some of the choke points the entrances and all of that are still smaller and they're going to be harder to get through like this is still smaller than the the wyvern cave so that's why um, blue up cave is going to be at number four uh, it does have a lot of potential. I guess the more that we play, the more series we do. Maybe I'll try to build in all these caves, and then I can actually come back and actually decide which cave, in my opinion, is best for defense, raiding, and all of that. But um, for now, I'm going to stick this here. Let's move on to the next spot. Spot number three, I went ahead and decided on Church Cave, which is a classic Sword Strength Cave. Everybody knows it. 78.176 76 over here in the desert. Um, I'm not going to lie. I was going to put this at number two. And I will explain that when I get to number two, but I still think it deserves the number three spot just because of a couple issues. The better thing is it's going to be hard to throw things out because like I said, the cryo fridge has to be in range with the new cryopods unless you're playing on a modded server. So if they really wanted to, they could put like their own cryo fridges just spam around here and then you're not going to be able to throw much in here. Uh, there is the drop down and then you come through here. And this is a pretty strong point. Like, this is going to be a strong point to get turrets and everything around, which is probably why it's in number three um, and not number four, because Blue Up Cave has some good choke points too. But this one has the space, I feel like. In the back of um, Church Cave, it does have a ton of space. But um, y'all know what Church Cave looks like. Um, so I'm going to speed through this. But um, I need to stop saying, but... um. You guys are probably like, oh my god, he said it a million times already. So you come down through here. And let's just get to the back of it. Y'all know there's some choke points, some different things. I just want to show you kind of the locations so that you guys can decide yourself. But the space, this is what I'm talking about. The space. Without cliff plats and stuff, it does kind of suck to try to build this. But there's still plenty of room. And there's an artifact up down there. So if you're playing on official, people are not going to be able to do the boss fights. So you pretty much own that. Let's move on to spot number two. Spot number two is coming in here at 59.2, 48.1. We're going to go ahead and throw Church Cave at number two. Or not Church Cave, Central Cave at number two. But I was like going up and down between Church Cave and Central Cave for that number two, number three spot. Because I'm not going to lie, um, I think people, I think Central Cave is a little overrated on Scorched Earth ASA from what I've seen. Everybody talks about it highly. It is nice that I think you can build through it all now. But like my problem is this is like a good choke point right yeah it is they can soak it with trikes or whatnot but you also got to take into consideration you're not going to be able to put a bunch of turrets here this pillar is here i wish they would have removed it you could have pushed the wall so much further back you could have done a lot more with it but with this here yes you can place turrets like everywhere on asa but it's still like they're going to be able to eventually c-spin they're going to be able to run in and that's why i was like should i put church cave or central cave but because of the cave in general the location the outside defenses oh excuse me and all that i think it does deserve that number two spot i don't i don't think it deserves number one i don't think it's that good i think the choke point at the beginning is good but like i said you can't put as many turrets and everything there as you would like to and of course it does have more choke points throughout but it's just always these weird pillars and everything that's going to be in the way 
Um, but if you spam turrets throughout the cave, it definitely deserves that number two spot. The location is dead center pretty much in the map as well, which I guess is a good thing to access everything pretty quick and easy. And I get like there, it's 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 nice. It's definitely nice. But it, it, let me know your thoughts below. Would you put this in number two or number three spot? Um, do you think church is better or central? I do think central is better on ASA by just a little bit though. They both have their downfalls. They both have you know the good things about them too. But let's move on. In my opinion, to the best cave on ASA at the moment with Island. And Scorched, I think this cave is pretty broken, and I don't exactly know why they even added it. I thought they were supposed to be nerfing some caves and pushing for more outside PvP and building. But let's move on to spot number one. Spot number one is coming over to Red Ob, and then you come up this little screen. The cords, if you guys don't know where Red Ob is, is 72.6, 39.8. Uh, I think people are calling this the Oasis Cave or something now, but this is definitely, in my opinion, the number one spot on the number one cave in on this entire like um this entire map i should say for sure because it's just broken for one everybody knows water entrances are broken in my opinion they're very hard to raid but if you come through here and it's going to be hard to throw certain things out and get th certain things through i think you oh why does that look so weird did you guys see that all right let's give this another go um i removed fog and everything so hopefully this don't look as weird that looked better for a second but you come through you drop down you'll turn um you'll keep going down by this little crystal and that's why it's really broken some of these are like really tight spots to come through this water and then you just kind of follow it up and i know people are like well couldn't you raft raid well the good thing is you have to get here before you can even throw out a raft you can put turrets all through this and a raft does get stuck so a raft can make it all the way to if i remember it's like right here somewhere right here it gets stuck so if you have your wall built pretty far back it's 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 a very broken cave in my opinion um it is going to be a little difficult to build this but you know people are creative and i'm sure people are going to make some insane builds and another thing about this cave it's massive there is so much space you could do everything you could farm in here you can have your breeders out everywhere you could literally raise things up you have no problem at all you even have water in here you have crystal you can fish inside your base if you wanted to don't remember the last time that somebody fished is i don't even know if that's when when the fishing pole get released was that on island i don't even know but uh there's just so much space and that's why i'm putting it at the number one spot um you guys let me know your thoughts below do you think central cave is better or oasis cave i think oasis cave because that water entrance is beyond busted and people are going to get creative and make some insane walls right there that's my opinion that's my thoughts let me know your comments below thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it y'all are the best also, you know, Arc on ASA is wiping this coming Friday. Join that link below. With that being said, thank you guys so much. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.